bit of damage that she gives. And it can make this bot lane even more vulnerable if there is... Yeah. Yep. See, here's the thing. If Yumi's attached to Ash and you get hooked in, it's like you're hooking two champions for the price of one Dia. And two for ones are typically a pretty good deal. I'm no economist, but hey. Oh, I really like this. The, the, the Camille to follow this up as well gives you another nice... Holding off. Yeah, Dragoon does have teleport if they do want to join in on this force. It does not look like that might be the case. That's a great pick on Too Breezy, though. He's out. Rocket's down and Dragon's taken. Oh. There wasn't much of a pick. Oh, wait. Captain Shrimp's going to find Five Fire here. Is Five Fire going to find Captain Shrimp? I don't know. It goes either way here. <laughs> except for... Okay, it's the lowest, but it's like... It's like first world problems, you know? <laughs> First world, oh no, I don't have a 90% win rate with my soul. Instead, three losing lane, and I, I didn't even get a chance to. But when Han does use the Heartbreaker there, yes, it is a quarter of the way off cooldown, a relatively short cooldown. But won't be available for any media fight, and that swing to caliber might result in this misfortune dying. Thankfully, the minion saying, get down, Mr. President. Ooh. And it's... Okay. Almost spoke too soon there, but thankfully Caster Curse is not a thing this time. Baron is going to be started up by From Ashes Esports. We have to remember last time Gordo was a very costly Baron, but helped him establish at least a bit more control on the map. There's the Orn Horn. What's yeah. it going to do? What's the yeah, call? That's going to be the engage coming out through the Gravity Storm landed as well. It is going to be a one for one.